Yeah. Uh, what happened? Where's 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 Kawhi been with his MVP numbers? We talk about players that be hurt. Mm-hmm. I don't want to make this Kawhi thing, but I'm just saying, like, which I just always think about this: which situation is worse, the Kawhi situation or the Anthony Davis situation? Because you said earlier, like, it's not a thing of him him not having heart and him not really wanting to play basketball. He's just not healthy. Do you feel yeah. like it's the same thing with Kawhi? Uh, I think the Clipper. I think it's the organizations handle things differently. The Clippers are never upfront about. What's going on, Kawhi? The Lakers, we we're, we're tired of the Anthony Davis thing because we always know what it is. The Clippers aren't always a hundred about the Kawhi thing, and I think that's really what it is. I think both these guys, obviously, I've never questioned the. I mean, I only question the passion of Anthony Davis because other people made me. But in the reality, mm-hmm. with injuries, Kawhi, I've never questioned Kawhi Leonard's passion about basketball. Never at all. He's got two championships and two Finals MVPs. He plays defense. I never questioned his passion. But I think it's a matter of. The organization's handling it differently. You think about the thing, uh, I think a couple years ago when the Suns went to the finals, we didn't know it was an ACL thing. They hit it for a minute. He was just out out of nowhere. You know, he would just be out a couple games. You're kind of like, what the hell happened to Kawhi? You know what I'm saying? So I think it's <laughs> I think the situation's worse with Kawhi because we don't really know when he's gonna be fully back. You yeah. at, at least with AD, you know when he's gonna be back. With the with Kawhi, you're like. You think he's perfectly fine. He'll go get 30. And you found out he got a broken foot. And he can't play another 10. And you like, what the hell's going on? Because they'll never tell you're not you. Even gonna find, you're not even going to find out that he has a broken foot. They're never. just going to sit him out and say rest. Yes. It's always rest. They never, because they're scared of, that. They're, I, I, I don't really, and I remember I did I, I, this video I did about the Kawhi thing a couple months ago. I kind of regret it now because, I mean, the fact of the matter is he's never on the court. And I remember saying, What's holding him back from being – what else does he have left to prove? And this injury thing is such a glaring thing. I hate to say it. He got to prove that he can be there on the damn court because I can't compare him yeah. to guys – to certain guys all – and this is a video I made. I can't compare yeah. him to certain all-time dudes if he's not on the court. It's as simple as that. He's played significantly yeah. less games than a lot of other all-time greats. That's got to – I know it's not his fault, but that's got to amount for something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, when, you, when you're a great player or you want to be considered in that great all-time player type of list, these dudes have accumulated stats to where it's just like it it, it equals up to longevity. Yes. And let's be honest, Kawhi's happened. He's probably not even in the top 20 in scoring all time. And we all know he could be if he just stayed on the damn court because I think I saw something over the last two years, he's definitely missed more games than he played. The okay. last three, actually. He's missed more games than he played. Anytime you get that stat, that's a bad stat. And it's not, and I honestly believe, like I said, if you're an older dude, if you're an aging player, which is kind of aging, he's not that old, and you're getting and you're hurt all the time, most likely, the reality of it is you're not about to be healthy while you're getting older. Mm-hmm. It's the reality. So I, I hope he gets healthy. Even Paul George, to to a certain extent, is actually hurt a lot too. Now I don't know how he was never an injured player. That shit came out of nowhere. But even Paul George, to a certain extent, is kind of getting hurt now. Yeah, that whole Clippers team is busted the hell up. Like it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's it's really tough seeing how things it's tough seeing how that whole thing played out because I like we I say it all the time. We remember our expectations for that team when they first got put together. Um yeah. I, I'm I'm still pissed that they couldn't make that first year work because I thought everything was perfect for them. Oh, it was. Beverly, Lou Williams, they still had that core from that team that made the playoffs the year before, Bro. plus Kawhi and Paul George. That's why that was the perfect. That was almost the perfect time for them to win something because that's when everybody was healthy. So the time when you are healthy, that's the time you are choked. That's actually yes. that's hella funny. Yes, I loved it, but that's stupid. It is very. It's really that's just it's just stupid. Like the time you all was healthy, the time you all had to to, to do something to prove something to everybody. Okay, that we can still win this, and we we the kings of LA, not the Lakers, and you and you choked, choked it away, man. That that window closed, and I hate to say this, but I don't see it getting any better this season. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I just I don't I don't see it. I, like if I'm seeing Kawhi is barely playing, and Paul George is here sometimes, and he's not here sometimes. I, I just don't feel confident that this is going to get any better. And you always said it, yo. Their window may be closed after this season. After this season, this Kawhi yeah. it may be over with. Yes, you know what somebody, I'm somebody. Honest, I honestly believe if if it's the same reoccurring thing, which I think it will, because it's just looking like it. It doesn't look. It's like- looking impossible for it not to be. So after this season, I think the owner is going to possibly think of trading one of them, if not both, Paul George and Kawhi, and try to rebuild. I'm gonna be honest with you, because you can't spend all these monies on these on on two superstars or two superstar level type of players, and you're not getting production yeah. as far as because they're just not healthy. What? How, how long have they been there? Three or four years? Four, three, four years. years. Yep. Yeah, this is probably their fourth year there if I just had to guess off the dome. But if this is their fourth year there, 
They've only made one conference finals. I mean, yeah, one conference finals. And one time they made it, Kawhi wasn't even playing, which actually is a good thing. But you still want your you still want your best player to be on the damn court. And that's all you have to show for it. And not at least and not at least a finals appearance. You're probably getting traded or you're probably blowing that team up. And I hate that the stars never align with this team because you just look at everything they've had. Tyron Lue is a hell of a coach. So mm-hmm. imagine if you had Paul George and Kawhi together healthy for the entirety of the season. He never had that. You know, yeah. so the stars never aligned. Like they never, things never got together to where they needed to be at. They had things here and there, but the stars never really aligned. I hate seeing stuff like that. You mentioned that year where they got to the conference finals. Bro, that's a ring of Kawhi is, uh, Kawhi is healthy. They're going to beat the hell out of the Suns if Kawhi was there. You know what I'm saying? I think they could have beat the yeah. Bucks the following you shoot- year. You sure? Because yes. they choked the year before. So I don't know. I think I think their mentality was different. And they also, I, I hate to say this, I don't want to sit and blame Doc Rivers because that team did choke. Okay, okay. Tyron mm-hmm. Lou there. At least there were some X's and O differences. We yeah. could have changed the outlook of the game. I know they choked, and I don't yeah. want to blame that on Doc Rivers. But I, I do. think it would have been different. I do. He's I do. Now Doc. you're right, because you think about it, Doc Rivers is terrible at adjustments. Like, he's the worst yes. coach of all time, probably, for, yeah. for shit like that. So you're probably right with the Doc. If Tyron Lue was on that team, they most likely they wouldn't choke probably three games straight, because they were up three to one against the Nuggets. Yeah. They probably wouldn't yeah. do that. Um, So even last year, even when they were down to the Mavericks, you, you see a difference in coaching because Tyron Lue – Came back from a 2 0 deficit versus the uh, Magic. I mean, not the Magic versus the Mavs. Yeah. Did they win? They won this. Did they win that series? I think they, they won did. that series in the following. I forgot the clip. No, okay. No, they didn't. They didn't beat the Mavs, but they came back and tied the series up, is my point last year. They yep. did. They did, but they came back and tied the series. I don't know if Doc Rivers, they probably would have did. They might have got swept with Doc Rivers yeah. because he doesn't like to adjust. Mm-hmm. But after this season, if it's, if it's the same thing with injuries with this team, Kawhi Leonard or Paul George, or maybe both of them might be playing on a different team next year. Yeah. And the Kawhi thing is, I think it's going to go down as one of the biggest what ifs in NBA history because you have a guy. I mean, I, I don't want to just say this to say it. Fuck it. I mean, there was a point where <laughs> I was like, yo, this dude looks like I'm not saying he was, but the movements look Jordan like at times back in San Antonio, yeah. the mid range, some of the stuff that he was doing, this skill set he had and this this growth he had, the way he evolved. This guy went from being a guy in San Antonio with really a limited amount of offensive skills to being one of the most advanced mid-range players in the game and probably the best next to DeMar. Like, we've never seen a player grow. I, I still, to this day, there's never been a player who developed their game offensively like I, like Kawhi, in my opinion. You can't say Giannis because Giannis, I think, just found a way to play to his strengths a lot better over time. Kawhi, the way he developed his mid-range and offensive game was True. just – he went from yeah. average to to over beyond elite. And so to see that yeah. happen and to see how the stars didn't align for him as far as his career because of the injuries, it's going to be one of the biggest what if stories ever. And I know it's weird to say that because he has two rings, but we're talking like, what if he was healthy consistently? Where would yeah. he be at? Would he be a top we, five, top three player if he was healthy? You know, shit like, we, shit all, like that. we all know with his talent, two rings is not nothing. Yes, it's. Well, I know that's that's that's, that's so that's messed true. up to say. With 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 that with with his type of talent, two rings is nothing. His type of talent, he used to have just as many, if not more, rings than like LeBron or stuff. Yes, and when his like type that era, that era where we're talking about with with Le, with LeBron and, and Curry, he could have been he could have been mixed in with that little era and got him about two or three rings out of that situation. We're talking about a a guy who was the best defender in the NBA, who at a point in his career became a top three, top five offensive threat in the NBA. Mm-hmm. That you that's that that is elite company from a perimeter guy. That's Jordan Kobe. I'm not saying he's there, but that's rarely been done by guys who yeah. they're so advanced offensively yeah. and at the same time they're so advanced yeah. defensively. That's yeah, rare yeah. air, bro. And to see that he's never really bought it all together, one of the biggest what if stories ever, honestly. So and the crazy thing was, I think who was he with? He was with Jordan. He was with Jordan at one point, and then he yes, left with New Balance. That's, yep. that's 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 that, that, is, that whole shit was fun. That whole shit was yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, I never bought. I like New Balance, but I ain't. I, I don't know if I would ever buy Kawhi. Oh, I, 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 thought it, I thought about it. I thought about it. I thought about it too. I was yeah. looking at that shit today. I thought about it today because I was he, looking at shoes. He got some nice. He got some nice shoes, but buying. I don't want to sound scam, but I don't care. If, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Um, 
buying his shoes, he's always hurt. It's like buying some D roses now. Yeah, kinda. yeah. Because the rose always hurt. Y'all know you go get hurt in the motherfuckers. I'm if sure you, the shoes is cursed. If you, if you play, um, so I don't know, but yeah, he definitely was like a Michael Jordan part three with Kobe being in part two. Because you definitely, when he was with the Spurs, especially, I feel like it was at his end of the tenure with the Spurs, like you saw some shit like. He would palm the ball and do like the little the fake shit that Michael Jordan used to do at the free throw, like you know, like the ball fake, the little yeah, like the little ball fake with the with the yeah. It was it was crazy. Same and even move. when he dunked on you, when he even dunked on you, I felt like he was doing the jump man when he was putting the ball above your head. The, the way he was dunking was so old school eighties. Like it just like it was dunking without effort. I, I remember the, one of my favorite Snapchat posts I almost made. Uh-oh. I made one song back in I you think. Did. Was it in sophomore, junior year? It was. He they did were, something. Yeah, they were playing the Blazers, and you that layup. He made a layup. I remember. T- I remember posting. I don't give a damn. I remember posting on Snapchat on my story. I said, "Yo, I ain't tripping." Kawhi Leonard played just like Michael Jordan. I remember saying mm-hmm. that he pl- and it's mm-hmm. just like you said it with that skill set. He should be in top. He should be within top 10, top five. He should be in that conversation. But it's just like he should be the best player in the NBA right now. But it's just like so much didn't align with them. And I and, and it just like you said, it just doesn't look like it's getting any better this season, you know? Yeah, no, it's 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 unfortunate. I mean, I don't really care for the Clippers, but in the same breath, like I, I did used to like Kawhi when he was with the yeah. Raptors. Maybe if he would have stayed with the Raptors, this would have been a different story, but mm-hmm. We all know we I I I play I I back them up on this. We all know if we got an opportunity to go home and play for a good team, most people probably go do it, even if you're coming off a championship. It's just yeah. reality of it. But I have a lot of what ifs with, with Toronto too, because they've run it back. I was just about to ask you that. So it, that was a good question. So could they run it back? So who goes to the finals the year after Toronto? That's 2019. So the year after that, we were freshmen. So that was bubble time. Uh yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you think of the scope of the rest of the Eastern Conference, they were better than the Miami Heat. They were better than the Bucs still because the Bucs still didn't make that Drew Holiday adjustment. They st- there were still some moves they didn't make. Yeah, you mentioned – I would say this. You mentioned the Bucs. I think Giannis might never have taken that step. I don't want to sound crazy. This is just the – this is what I've seen. I've seen Kawhi destroy Giannis at his best. I really, I really want to know – if they would have faced Giannis in the bubble or maybe in 2021, if he was still on the Raptors, would Giannis have ever taken that step on potentially being the best player in the league? Quote it. We asked. I don't think so. I don't think I don't think so. Quote it. I that is that because that wall that 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 Nick Nurse, especially because he helped he helped with the defense, obviously, too. But that wall that, that Kawhi helped build around Giannis in the lane. I don't know if Giannis would have ever figured out how to pick his spots. I honestly feel like Kawhi going to a different conference kind of helped him figure that out. I yes. mean, it's not a bad thing, but I'm just saying. Now, what I will say is Miami did do use the wall in the bubble. And so mm-hmm. bringing in Drew Holiday allowed Giannis to get into different positions. But yes. the question is valid. If Kawhi stays in the East, does Giannis make that leap? It's still a valid question. It's still a valid question. I think it would have been, I think, because even if they would have gotten Drew Holiday, let's say Kawhi just remains a Raptor up to this point. Even if the Bucs still mm-hmm. got Drew Holiday, is that Raptors team? Because, I mean, what? Kawhi left in free agency. So some of those yeah. picks and some of those guys they have were still going to be there either way. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it's, yeah. D- does yeah. Giannis make that? Does Giannis get a ring of Kawhi stays? Help Cause, in, cause in you got You got to... Re- you got to realize this, even though Miami did the same type of wall type of defense, they didn't have the same players that the rest did. Like, they didn't have a Anobi. They didn't have a Siakam. Like, them dudes yes. got win. They didn't have them type of players to, to, to capitalize on a wall type of defense, whatever, the wall type of defense. They didn't have that. That's the reality of it, too. People don't realize how much length, uh, how, 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 like, how, like, how much length that Raptors team had. Like, you're talking Kawhi. You just mentioned Kawhi, Pascal Siakam. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that that that's a very good question yeah. to ask. Does yeah. he remain that guy if yeah. Kawhi stays in Toronto? That's a very and even good. to a certain even to a certain extent. Fred VanVleet can hold his own. He's a yeah. tough little guard that can play yes. defense side to side. Mm-hmm. 
Very oh, true. It's, I just thought of that. That's, that's yeah, that's a good question. So I, I'm thinking that it was a free agent move where Giannis left or, or where Kawhi left. They probably still have some of those picks. So I'm not sure what happened with the Kyle Lowry trade. And but then again, that just happened a couple of years ago when he went to Miami. So they would have still had the Van the Van Vliet thing still could have happened, right? Mm-hmm. The um, you know, the Siakam All Star leap still could have happened. Right. That like the some of that stuff still could have happened out of the way because it would be different if they went and traded Kawhi. And then, you know, like he moved in free agency. So what was there was already there. There's like this team, what they have, their core is, I mean, outside of Scotty Barnes, their core is a bunch of guys who were already kind of like there on that championship run. That's why they're dangerous now, is because their core yeah. is still guys who have championship experience. So outside of Scotty, obviously. So yeah. That's that's that is a crazy that's a crazy thing to think about because I honestly maybe Giannis would have would have developed and became the player he is now, but it definitely would have took two or three more years I feel like for him to figure that out. Yes, I agree because the way I, I the I've never seen Giannis kind of I've never seen just me I've never seen Giannis look so bad in a four game stretch in his career like yeah. that was like he won the first two games they figured his ass out and then the Raptors won four straight boom finals. Yeah, that's facts. That was yeah. So that's facts. Um, and man, that was good. That that was yeah. Holy shit, that was a hell of a take, and that was a hell of a question. And I want you guys to. We asked two major, um, questions that y'all need to um consider. Um, does eighty is it's not from what two major things? Eighty can one hundred percent be better than Giannis, right? Mm-hmm. It's a matter of yeah. health. It's not that crazy to say. And on top of that. Does Kawhi, what happens if Kawhi is not hurt and him being a big what if story? Just two things to consider. Two things yeah. to consider. Yeah. And it honestly can be, it can't just, it can be a thing more than Giannis. Like it could, the uh, let, me, let me think. Could the Warriors, with the Warriors stay, with the war, they probably would break up still. With the Warriors even win another championship in last year, would that have happened? Would right. Boston, would Boston have made the finals like they did last year? Like it's a lot of things we can Boston. ask ourselves. Like if Kawhi stayed with the Raptors, would some of these teams have the success that they've had over the last two or three years? Yeah. I, so. I, I'm still on the train where I'm like, I don't think dude should have left, bro. I don't think dude should have left. I think he should have just stayed. I mean, I know he didn't really yeah. want to be there. He got traded there. I know he didn't want to be there, but it was just such a perfect – I've never – you won a, a championship with a city, um, and then you dip on him, man. I mean, I'm not going to say he's a traitor because he didn't owe anything to him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell, LeBron didn't really owe anything to Cleveland when he left their ass. So, you know, but still, it was kind of like, yeah. damn. You know what I mean? I don't know. And they say Toronto hella nice, too. Yeah. They say Toronto is like top of like top of the world nice. But I don't know. That's definitely a, a good question. But every time Kawhi comes back, like, I, I, I want to see the next time the Clippers play the uh, Raptors and if they play him in Toronto. Because every time he comes back, they be cheering for him all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he brought a lot to that city, man. Um. Yeah. 